It is December 31st, and I am standing in a room with thumping music and a dying Christmas tree. Standing in the kitchen making the last cookies of the year. Slipping hot chocolate in a crowd of people. Waiting. Waiting. It is December 31st, and I am curled on a couch in a quiet side room. The glow of my phone lighting my face as fireworks light the night sky. Sitting in front of the television, waiting for the commercials to end. Waiting for the ball to drop. It is December 31st, and I am telling my family about my new goals. Sitting together in the living room, watching movies and eating popcorn. It is December 31st, and I am at a party that I do not want to be. Watching people I do not know talk about who they will kiss when the ball drops. It is December 31st. And I am ready to say goodbye, 10, to the moments that were harder than others. Late nights and early mornings, 9, 8, the days that were long and the ones that weren't long enough, 7, Crunching leaves, rabbits, wildflowers, thunderstorms, blazing days, and bumblebees. Six, five, four, to first loves and goodbye kisses. Stormy days without an umbrella. The fights that didn't matter. With, with friends that do. Three, to parts of myself that I've learned to let go. Two, to the dreams I've outgrown. One, to 2019. It is January 1st. Listening to the noisemakers that honk throughout the neighborhood. Listening to the cars as they roll home. The Christmas tree has dropped its needles in the corner. The sky is gray and full of snow. It is quiet, but, but my mind is full of this year's, of, of what ifs, of, of one days, and what will be. It is January 1st, and I am ready to say hello to chances, to laughter, and stories that have yet to be written. Turning the page to a new chapter, and choosing our own adventures, finding our own ways, learning who we are without hands to hold, learning how to hold our own. I am ready to say hello to more memories, more love. More time spent becoming stronger, smarter, older, becoming braver, happier, becoming more. It is January 1st and the party is over. We are gathering the shimmering streamers and the discarded drinks. Sticky cider residue staining rings onto confetti covered coffee tables. We are picking up the empty cups scattered across the living room floor. We are staving off sleep curled around blank papers titled Resolutions. I will take the stairs more often unless I'm going swimming, and in that case, I will cannonball. We will run toward each moment instead of walking, but we will know when to slow down. I want to find love in new places, within new walls, and new people. Find love under tree branches, beneath moving clouds and new skies. On roads I've never taken, with friends I've yet to meet. I want to find love, to become the person I am in love with. I will be gentle with myself as I learn how to cope with a new world, a new me. We will become a healthier generation and take care of the world we've been handed. I will keep track of time, but not too closely. We will inhale and remember to exhale. I will allow myself time to think, to learn, to be. I will give myself permission to grow. I will make a stranger smile. Make, make myself smile. I will finish the books piled on my nightstand. Pick up the, the pen when it calls my name. When I need the world to be quiet. I will learn to be quiet. To, to listen. listen. But above all else, we acknowledge that we are human. That there will be rain and heartbreak and times when we are not the people we want to be. That is okay if our resolve weakens. If I take the elevator once or twice. If I am too tired to run. If my cannonball turns into a belly flop. 
And if love isn't who I thought they were, if I find myself on the path back home instead of somewhere unknown, it is December 19th and we are here on this stage. Our echoing voices, their dancing bodies, your open minds and hearts. We are standing on the brink of a new year. Standing before new doors. And we are 